Welcome back. Across the country, more and more elderly are suffering from abuse. In fact, the abuse of the old has increased from 23% in 2013 to 50% in 2014. My colleague Bhairvi Singh reports. Eighty-five year old Baldev Raj has been living here for the past six years. Both his children live in Delhi, but he says he is happier here. He gets a pension of fifteen hundred rupees, which mostly goes in medicine bills while his daughter sends another 2,000 a month. Both children, he says, are busy with their lives, working professionals who have no time for him. Karonda, a facility for old in Delhi's Fatehpur Bedi area, houses 30 such inmates. Most of them say they came here even though their kids still live in the city. Many of those who are here have no money of their own, no pension, but believe it's better to live on the generosity of NGOs than borrowed love. Bimla Johan is stitching a sweater for her grandson who comes once in two months to see her. She says she has no savings, no income, no pension. The lump sum money that her husband got on retirement was spent on his treatment for cancer. According to a recent report published by Help Age India, the statistics of how India treats its elderly is alarming. The abuse of elderly increased from 23% in 2013 to 50% in 2014. 80% of the respondents admitted that abuse existed, while 50% of them said they had personally faced abuse. The worst perpetrators of abuse were their own, 61% daughter-in-laws, 59% sons. But 41% of elderly abuse did not report it to anyone, and 50% of the elderly in India live below the poverty line. I think that the generation is family, it's an ignored generation. The economy, the, the economy is not willing to invest. You're not willing to invest in the senior citizen generation. But now 60 is considered very young. It's the young old. People are living till the age of 90. Your pension cut off is 60. Mm -hmm. From 60 to 90, what does an older person do? Government spends only 0.24% of the entire GDP on pension schemes. There are no universal pension schemes and there are different states can make their own pension schemes. Also, the medical facilities in this country are dismal. Added to that, the laws to protect them from any kind of abuse are there. However, the implementation on the ground is another thing altogether. <laughs> As life expectancy increases, the population of those above the age of 60 is set to become 324 million by 2050. But how do we ensure adequate care? That's the big question. In New Delhi with Kamapas and Manjunath, Bhairavi Singh, NDTV. Well, it's time for a short break, but when we come back, the governor of Madhya Pradesh has been asked to quit. We're going to get you that and a lot much, a lot more.